Paul Queen. My horse is making diamonds, and I won the NARS Level One Non Pro Derby. Congratulations Stop the on that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, she's a little mare that we bought, I guess, two years ago now. And Jared showed her last year and just did amazing with her. And this year was my my year. And um, I won three big derbies on her. And then I just won the level one this time on her. But, you know, you, you go in, you hope you win. You have that in your mind. And, you know, sometimes it just doesn't end up your way. But I still did pretty good today on her. I'm, I'm happy with her, yes. Um... Her circles, her circles are so powerful. When I go around those corners and those, those circles, she's got so much power behind her. Yeah, and, uh, I think the hardest part of any pattern for me is just making sure you get those stops and those uh, spins, you know, shut off when you need to. Right. Is this a full race maybe? No, it's not. No, okay. no. Um, was there any part of your run that you wanted to change? It wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be. Um, Kind of, I didn't push her like I should have, and I kind of, I think I trusted her a little more than I should have. But you know, she, she's a mare, and sometimes she's, a, she has a personality, and it comes out. <laughs> well, how has she been throughout the week? Did you prepare for this? Oh, she's always great. You know, she's, uh, she's never been an easy mare to ride, but she's a lot of fun to ride. So it, 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 it makes you really up your game. This is the last big derby. This is her last year. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do next year. Um, I probably won over 80,000 already with her this year, so I don't know what we're gonna do next year. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, who do you wanna thank for helping you get here? Oh, my mother, number one. Um, Jared LeClaire, he's just been a rock star for me. He's taught me so much over the past several years, and he's just brought me just keep up and up at my level every time I go out there and show. Of course, he'll tell me what I did wrong, but that's where, that's how you learn too. All right. Hi, I'm Frank Costantini. I'm here this afternoon with Amanda Lester and Chloe Lawrence. Amanda, you have some questions you'd like to ask Chloe and I as far as what we do with Markel? I sure do, Frank. So what all does Markel cover? We cover farms and ranches, uh, equine mortality, commercial liability, and also autos. And Frank, what's so important about Markel? Well, we provide service. You know, it's a 24-hour claim service uh, anytime, day or night. If you can't get a hold of a Markel representative on our toll-free number, you know, as I tell people, you know, Chloe keeps her phone by her bedside all the time, and, and you know, unless I'm on a plane, my phone is on. So we've got about 24-hour service, you know, and I think that's very important because uh, horse people, as you know, have, have difficulty keeping a schedule. And what most people would consider the norm, horse people don't. It's just, it's just whatever the, the particular animal needs and would like to offer the, the fact that we're available whenever they need us, you know? Horses don't know if it's Christmas, Easter, or the 4th of July. You know, every day is the same. Well, Frank and Chloe, thank you guys so much for your time and thank you for your sponsorship of Virtual Horse Help and other reigning events and other shows and all that. You guys are a great part of this industry. Well, Amanda, we appreciate what you do and uh, uh, with Virtual Horse Help and also your contribution that you make and uh, the publicity you bring to companies like Markel and to people like Chloe and myself. Awesome, guys. Thank you, Chloe, for your time. Thank you, and knowledge is power.